In the last video, we looked at styling uh, categories in different ways. So we took the accessory category and we styled it differently to the rest of the shot. Here you see the green, here you have the blue, here you have the dark green border, and on the accessories, you had a red border. At the moment, though, the individual products all look the same, irrespective of the category I'm in. So because we've already styled the accessory category grid view differently, perhaps we'd like to style the product slightly differently as well. So in this video, we'll have a look to see how we can style products from a specific category in a different way to the products from the other categories. In order to do that, we'll head over to Oxygen. And we're going to go to templates we're going to create a new template and we'll call this product and accessories we'll go and select main to bring through the header and the footer under singular we will say that it is a product single product single and only apply if taxonomized in the following way. We'll select that and we'll go to accessories and we'll see it's a product category and it's called accessories and we'll give it a priority of one and we'll publish. Once published, we'll head over to Oxygen To begin the styling process, we'll head over to Structure, we'll add a section, we'll go across to WooCommerce, and we'll pull in the Product Builder. When we pull that in, we'll see the default styling for WooCommerce, and now we're going to make the changes to that. So, the first thing that we'll do is we will add a two-column layout. We now have the two column layout and that appears under the product builder. We'll now go and add the various product elements again. So we will add under WooCommerce, we will add the images on the left. So you'll see that the product images are inserted into that div. And what we'll do is we'll add the product title above those columns. Product title. So the product title will appear there now and we'll center that. Um, back to typography and we'll center that. Now if we wanted the title to stretch across the full length of the page, we could do that and we could do that by creating a new section and moving the product title into that section. And we could center that, just the size. We could then assign a color to the background. So now we have the title of the product across the top of the page, followed by the product information. First thing that we would need to do, or one of the options that we have, is to put in the product price. You'll see the product price will be inserted. We can now style that. But let's add a few more elements before we do the styling. Let's add the button, which is the Add to Cart button. 
you might want to add some product meta, which would be the category, the SKU numbers, etc. And maybe the product excerpt. So to move the order around, what we might want to do is add the excerpt first, followed by the product price, followed by the button. The excerpt we'll add some space around. So we'll go to size and spacing and let's add margin of 20 pixels. And I think that sizing is fine. We'll then have a look at the pricing. We'd like to make that a little bit bigger. So let's do that. Let's change the color, for example. So the normal price we can Maybe the blue is the better color for the price. Now, in this case, you'll see that we have a sale price and we have the standard price. So let's go back to the strike through on sale and we'll change that color to red. And let's change that size so we can actually see it. Then we'll go back to the normal size We'll make that slightly bigger. The font weight, maybe not as bold. And we'll also give that a spacing margin at the bottom. So now we have our product excerpt. We have the price. We want to add it to the basket. We will go to the We'll now go to our Add to Cart button. Background color, let's make it red. Let's add that red to our global colors as we're using it quite often. And when hovered, let's use that same red. Let's make it a little bit darker. And we add that. So hovering goes a bit darker. The button typography, let's change that font size, something a bit bigger. Font weight, let's make that normal. Let's make it a little bit bigger. We have a nice big add to cart button. Order radius is fine. And the button padding, we might just make that a little bit bigger. So that we have a really big button. We have the price. Let's add some space below the button. We'll go to size and spacing. Add some space below. And then we have the SKU and the category. So we'll move over there. We'll go to the links. We can change the color. We can overline, underline. Let's change that to a readable size. Great. So now we can actually see what the SKU is and we can see what the category details are. So there we have created the details. If we want to make this image a little bit bigger, we can go into our column to that div, move over to size and spacing, and apply that to all the borders. And now we have a nice big picture. If we're not happy with the size of that text, we can also go in, make it a little bit bigger. So there's our product, there we have our price, we have our add to cart. We can further style the page now as we did before. We'll add a new section. And we'll add in the WooCommerce related products.
All right, so we can now save that. Refresh our page. And you'll see that the beanie with logo has a different layout to, well, these will all be accessories, so these should all be the same. But if we were to go to a different category, and we chose, for example, the hoodie, the hoodie will still be displayed in the original layout, whereas the accessories For example, the belt will have the new layout. What we can also do if we wanted to extend that design a little bit further. So we could look at giving the background a gradient so that we don't have the sudden stop. We can do that by going into that section, scrolling down to the gradient option right at the bottom. We would add two colors first color we would add would be that same color and the second color that we would add would be the white. So now you'll see that there's a gradual gradient from the color and that fades out gradually before we get to the related product. So just a small design element that you can add that would make a difference. If you wanted to add a product image as a background, you could do that as well. So in order to do that, we'd head over to background and instead of um, browsing for an image, what we'll do is we'll pull in the product image as the featured image. And we'll go with the size of large, we'll insert. At the moment though, you'll see that you can't see anything. So in order to see that image, what we'd have to do we scroll down to our gradient. Uh, we've added that in the wrong section. Let's take it out of there. Let's go to this section. Add that into the background. Featured image. And you'll see that you can't see it at the moment head down to the gradient and then change the transparency level and you'll see that the product will appear. However, we'd probably want to keep that white for the fade out and go to the first color and change the transparency on the first color. So now, although the color doesn't match with the beanie with logo, the color is fading out. What we can then do, if we still want to match that color before we get to the beanie, we would add another color. So we'd have to move things around a bit now and there's no way to drag the colors around. So the first color would be no gradient. The second color we'd make the same as the first and the last one we'd leave it white. We would then just apply a gradient to the center and to the final one we wouldn't apply a gradient at all and we'd make that white. So there is a bit of a fast fade out at the bottom. So that's not going to. So there we have the fade in from the top. Maybe if we improve it slightly and we have it fading out at the bottom. So with this image, um, it's not working too well because of the position of the image. Maybe we'll move the background image to a higher position, go back to advanced, make sure that we're in the right section, go back to background. And for the image, 
let's say and change to percent we'll move that up There we go. So now we've moved the background image up so that we can see it just a little bit more in the background of that image. But that would only be um, as an additional design element if you wanted to add that in the background. But that's pretty much how you would do it. And then don't forget the gradient section at the bottom. where you would have that element. So here, if that was still a bit too bright, we could fade it out by adding more color and just make it a little bit brighter, or you could have the full image displayed. And at the moment it scrolls. If you wanted that background to be fixed, we could do that. By changing it from scroll to fix, now you'll see that that background would stay the same. If you wanted the background to be a lot, uh, to extend further down, what we'd have to do is move this section However, you can't move the section. So what we would do then is we would add a div element And we would move the related products into that div. Move that section. And now you'll see that your background is fixed across the whole page. Now if we look at the front end, with the belt, we see that the belt is in the background, and we can scroll over that with our related products. If we want the related products to stand out, out a bit more, we can go to our div, make sure that our width is set to 100%, and we could change the background color, make it white. We'll add a border, Let's add a border of 20 pixel, uh, uh, padding of 20 pixels all around. And let's go to borders. And, and just to make it stand out a bit more, we can then also go to effects, go to box shadow. And there we have a subtle box shadow. If we're not happy with that, we can go back to our box, our div, and maybe change that 20. So it is a bit more subtle. And there we have our related products in a box. Refresh the page. And now see that it's standing out a little bit more. If we wanted to add some additional styling, for example, we could also take this content area, go to the background, give it a background of white, and also make it slightly transparent. Not point two. In the case of that item, we might want to add a border. All borders, um, the color, let's make it slightly darker color. One, let's make it solid. Let's 
We'll refresh that. And you'll see now that we can Right, let's make that a bit lighter so it blends more. And you'll see now that we have a softer key line around the product. So that's just some ideas, some things that you can do. But we now definitely have a different styling to the belt as we have to any other product. Um, uh, that is also an accessory. So if we go to hoodie, for example, We'll have that layout as opposed to right. That just shows you how you can create different styling for products in a specific category. Well, I hope you found that useful. Thank you for watching.